middle of October and the message still remains as preserve, preserve, preserve. Got some parsley here. It's taken less than 24 hours for that to dry out on the top rack of the dehydrator. This is about the fourth jar of parsley we've, we've got. Um, so I'm thinking ahead to all that cooking I'll be doing at Christmas. Like when we get a ham, um, I, I put it in a pan with water and I make a stock with it as we boil it up. This parsley and all kinds of other herbs, they'll be going in with it. So, you know, get as much stuff preserved as you can while we've still got it. Yesterday, we harvested our one and only bulb Florence fennel at the allotment and these are the tops that are cut off. Um, I'm just, I'm, I've am i never dried the tops of Florence fennel like this before where you just hang it up. So I'm not sure if it'll work. It'll either be great and it'll go really nice and dry or it'll turn into a soggy mess. I don't know really. And then one last little thing. There's a lady called Babette and her channel is Babette is in the Garden. Now, she gave me the idea and I've kind of changed it slightly but I'm 99% I'm, I'm certain it was uh, the lovely Babette that said this. Drying apple rings, right? She said that she sprinkles a little bit of um, jelly powder, jello powder onto the apple rings. Now we've not done jello powder, what we've done is a little bit of cinnamon went onto these and Ruby and I have had some and we can say that they are delicious they are absolutely gorgeous so if, if you too are making dried apple rings try with a little bit of cinnamon because it works it's brilliant right I've got more stuff to dehydrate we've still got a fridge full of turnips somewhere hang on where's, where's the look so these are oh, that one that Massive hole in that, that needs to go to the chickens, I don't know why that's in there, but look, all these turnips need dehydrating as well. And they'll just go in a jar and as we make soups and stews over winter, they'll be added to that and they'll be lovely. We had five chilli plants, can you remember what type of chilli they were Claire? No, sorry. We had five chilli plants in the polytunnel in the backyard and we've made a decision that we've, we've pulled them up and we're stripping as many decent sized chilies as we can, whether they're green or red. I mean, because the, the green ones, they will go red. What we're going to do is we thread a needle and thread through them, hang them up to dry. And uh, like I say, some of them will ripen as they're doing that and they will go red. So we've got a decent little stash here. Uh, there are red ones in there, believe it or not. There's <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're, you can't see them. There is quite a few red ones in there. It's just that there's that many green ones. Um, now, I've got mucky hands, so we're going to have to wash these now before we hang them up and dry them, get the soil off. And then the remnants of the bushes, I'm just going to put through the shredder, I think, and we'll compost that. I know some people do keep their chilli plants as a perennial, um, but it gets that cold where I am over winter. It's not worth all the faff trying to keep it alive so we'll just buy brand new chilli plants next year we'll start start from scratch those chilies are in the pan now bubbling away nicely get the sterilized jar out a proper jam funnel I've been meaning to get one of these for years oh yeah little bit left over let's have a look it's quite runny as well but it will thicken up as it cools down I'm just going to add a tiny bit more into the top of that touch the inside of the lid. Out, that's hot. Hang on. Burning my hands off here. Right, 
that's on nice and tight and within a few minutes that dinky down lid will have dinked its final dink and it'll be vacuum sealed look at the colour on that gorgeous it's like a gold orange with specks of red and you've got the white bits of the seeds yep lovely brilliant so only using the red chilies from that final harvest for the year we managed to just get one jar of sweet chilli sauce we've still got a couple of hundred green chilies waiting to be used thank you so much for watching if you liked it why not click the like button and better still subscribe see you around guys